What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Fritz, and I'm back with another DoorDash video. I received a couple of comments on my last video that I wanted to go into a little more detail about today. First of all, thank y'all for the support. Trust me, I'm not stressing about getting tip baited last week. It's the first time it's ever happened to me in over 400 Uber Eats deliveries. I do remember the customer's name, and I'm definitely going to make sure I don't deliver to him again. The comment that really inspired this video is how much do I spend on gas? I'm not sure how many of you guys watching this watch other DoorDash content creators, but many of the larger names are talking about quitting DoorDash with everything that's going on as they move on to bigger things. I think that a lot of people wonder what the real expenses of a DoorDash driver are, so today's video is going to be me talking about whether or not I think DoorDash is still profitable in 2022. There's actually some very good news that was just announced for us gig drivers starting on July 1st of 2022. The article says, in recognition of recent gasoline price increases, the IRS made this special adjustment for the final months of 2022. The IRS normally updates mileage rates once a year in the fall for the next calendar year. It's very nice of them to take us into account. Starting on July 1st, we will now be able to write off 62.5 cents per business mile instead of 58.5 cents. For full-time gig drivers, this will definitely add up. But to go back to that question, with the recent rise in gas prices, it definitely does cut into your profits. Unless you drive an EV, you'd be lying if you said it hasn't hurt a little bit if you've gone and filled up recently at a gas station. It really is getting kind of ridiculous. I'm actually looking at new cars right now. A Tesla is definitely out of my price range at the moment, but I've been doing a little bit of research on some different types of EVs. I only do DoorDash part time, so if I got an EV that could do 100 miles a day, I really think I could be able to DoorDash in the mornings and still be able to get to my classes later that day. Unfortunately, my car has been having some issues for a while now. When it comes to my personal expenses, the only expenses I really have for my car now is gas and oil changes. At this point, any big maintenance that comes up on my car in the future really just doesn't make sense to repair, judging by the value of my car, so my plan is to just drive my car into the ground. While it's a little bit sad, that has always been my plan with my car. Since the day I got it, my plan was to use it to make as much money as possible. My car has gotten me from point A to point B for almost 4 years now. I'm currently driving a Nissan Altima that has 180,000 miles on it and the only real issue with it right now is a little power steering leak. So is DoorDash still profitable in 2022? Well yes and no. There are very many factors that come into play here. The main factor that is different for everybody is your market. Regardless of if you guys are watching this from Tennessee, California, Texas, or wherever, every single market is going to be different. Another factor is how affluent your market is. I feel like nobody is talking about it, but I still think there's a very good chance we are in the middle of a recession right now. We will know for sure if we have another quarter of negative growth, which will actually be official at the end of this month. We just went from having stimulus checks being pumped into our economy to the Fed doing all of this tightening and suddenly people do not have all of this extra free money anymore. If you've been door dashing, it probably feels like there are a lot more lowball offers right now. My advice is if you dash in the richest possible area near you, you will probably find more success. Another factor is how many apps you're running. If the question is strictly is DoorDash still profitable in 2022, I really don't think I could say it would be for me. I run DoorDash, Uber Eats, and Grubhub all the time non-stop throughout my shifts. I also recently just got approved for Shipped, but I don't like shopping, and I'm currently waiting on approval for Point Pickup and Amazon Flex. I think that one of the absolute biggest factors of making consistent money in gig work is knowing your market inside and out. What I mean by that is you need to know which restaurants are efficient, which roads you want to avoid, where the best place to be is to receive as many orders as possible, etc. In the future, I want to make a detailed video about all of the tips and tricks I've learned so far doing DoorDash and Uber Eats, but that would have to be a future video. So for me, running three different apps at the same time, delivering in a market that I have about two years of experience in, yes, absolutely, food delivery is still profitable for me. That being said, I only do this part time. I'm definitely not one of those DoorDash YouTubers that goes out for 12 hours a day, but I do think that most of them feel about the same as me. The rise in gas prices, along with all of the college kids being home for summer, definitely saturates everybody's market. That being said, I absolutely do think that orders will pick up again eventually, and to all of us that stick it out throughout this whole thing, we will still be able to make money if we do it right. At the end of this shift I recorded on Monday the 13th, I ended up making $85.86 in 3 hours. 
that comes out to an hourly rate of about $28.62 per hour, which is pretty solid. This Monday was just about the same as last week's Monday. But anyways, if you guys enjoy this style of video where I sit down and answer some of your questions, please leave a like on the video for me. And also, feel free to leave any questions you still have down in the comments below. I'll be responding to all of them. And with all that being said, I hope you guys are out here getting some money as well. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.